hello guys you're welcome again to my channel so recently about a month ago i posted a video that i titled one photo sensor plus one contactor to power mini street lights practical tutorial and at the comment section a friend made a very good suggestion that i should do a second part of that same video to show how to bypass the photo cell in case you want to be able to operate or to check the functionality of your light during the day so that you don't necessarily need to cover the photo cell to check if your lamp is working correctly so he suggested that i should make another video to provide a bypass so that in case you want to test the lamps during the day you can bypass the photo cell and do that so he said great videos brother keep going suggestion for part two of this video how to wire a bypass for this installation so that you don't need to cover the photo cell during the day when you want to do inspection of the lights to see if any globes or lights are faulty very good so that is from dylan dylan thank you for this suggestion very well and i see a lot of sense in this suggestion technically because sometimes because we have only one photo cell controlling many lights when the photo cell is faulty all the lights will not come and so if we have a bypass for this system what it simply means is that when the photo cell fails we can temporarily use the bypass to manually switch on the lights in the evening until we get a replacement very well all right i already have a step-by-step -step comprehensive video on how to do the wiring from scratch to finish and so for now i'm not going to talk about how to wire this system all i'm going to do now is to show how to wire a bypass for this system so that in case you want to do inspection during the day you don't really need to cover your photo cell to do that you can just use the bypass and also in a situation where you have a failed photo cell you can temporarily use your bypass to switch on your light until you get a replacement all right so to do the bypass we'll need a switch and some pieces of cables all right so this bypass system is going to be a permanent part of the system but it will only be activated or it will only be used in case we want to ignore the photo cell we assume that in this system we will have many lamps connected and so the load demand will be quite huge and so when selecting the switch for the bypass the switch must be selected in a way that it should be able to carry the load current safely so here is our double pole breaker and so simply what we are going to do is that we are going to connect the input main supply into this switch and then we connect the output to the output of the contactor that goes to the lamp we take live from here into the breaker and then we take neutral from here into the breaker again every connection must be properly tightened all right then from the output we take live from here to the live output to the lamp. And then again, we take neutral from here to the neutral output to the lamp. All right, so now we have a bypass that can allow us to test and inspect our lamps without the photo cell. Or in case the photo cell has failed, we can temporarily use the bypass to switch on all the lights. All right, so now we have a bypass added to our system so that we can operate these lamps during the day without necessarily engaging the photo cell. And also, in a case where our photo cell is not functioning, we can temporarily use the bypass manually to switch on the system. So the important thing to take note of is that this bypass wiring is only for temporal purposes. One, during the day, we can use it for inspecting the system. And then probably when the photo cell fails, we can temporarily use it 
until we get a replacement. And so the bypass switch should always be at the off position, except you want to bypass the system. And just after you are done with whatever you want to do, it should go off again. We can simply bypass the photosol by switching on this switch. So if we are sure all our lamps are correct, and then we switch it off. All right, so assuming night falls and darkness comes, the photosol does the work automatically. Okay. So that is how to wire a bypass for this particular system. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please kindly hit on the like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to stay connected. See you in my next video.